Hey guys, good morning. I was up at first light, which was, uh, I popped awake probably two minutes to six this morning. Uh, went to bed at nine, so I had about nine hours of sleep. That's pretty good. Well, a lot of people in the space do, uh, what do I eat in a day? So since I only eat one meal a day, I figured I would share with you what I eat in a week. Uh, so during the course of seven days, I will eat seven times. And um, this is kind of what I eat. So enjoy. All right, so this was about eight eggs. And, well, it was eight eggs, in fact, sunny side up. And then I put a special gravy meat that I make, which is a beef sausage and some tomatoes. And then obviously cheddar, uh, sorry, that's Parmesan cheese and some Frank's Red Hot. So that was uh, day one. And I finished off with a steak and a chicken quarter that I bake with just salt and paprika and then a longitudinally cut chorizo from Spain. And then I make a dipping sauce out of, that's just butter and Frank's Red Hot. Uh, a little bit of apple cider vinegar and some salt. The recipe is on my channel. Day two, we travel to Via Hidalgo, and that is pure fatty um, ram meat. That would be the male ram, uh, lamb. So, and it's tatemado um, in Spanish, which uh, literally it's a, a barbacoa, which means it's indirectly heated. So it's it's smoked for about twelve hours, and then it comes with a, a tomato type sauce that you put on it and that's uh, onions, cilantro and I put lime juice. And then later when I got home I bought some chorizo from Via Hidalgo. They're pretty famous for their chorizo and I believe this is only six eggs uh, with the uh, chorizo. So I did eat twice that day just um, when we got there and I think my morning meal was about a pound of meat and then this uh, for when we got home I think it was only about four hours later so I still kept about a 20 hour uh, non-eating window and then the next day I made myself five quarter pound cheeseburgers with pickles jalapenos and uh, manchego cheese and uh, before eating those, I went ahead and used the tallow that came off the beef and butter to cook down the chorizo and eggs. And then on uh, Tuesday, for some reason, I don't have a meal on there. Um, because that, that that I showed, uh, sorry, sorry, that was Tuesday. This is Wednesday. We went to San Luis Potosí. And this is a coffee with butter. And it's funny, um, I couldn't whip it, so we, we tried to stir it in. But it was still good because the butter laid on the top like it would even if you, if you poured it in a blender. And that's the lovely hand of my wife, Isabel. Uh, but anyway, funny story is the, the waitress came up saw me putting butter in the coffee. She's like, oh, that's not cream. I'm like, yeah, it's butter. And you get the weirdest looks. <laughs> Nobody in the world has ever, ever thought uh, here of putting butter in coffee. They just, it's just does not compute. And then this was um, my only meal of the day, actually. It was about 11 in the morning um, with my coffee up there in the the upper foreground, uh, background eagle. Uh, so I had a piece of steak, one egg. Uh, this was the breakfast meal. Huh? Uh, so guacamole, um, so it's avocado, tomato, onion, garlic. And I did eat some refried beans, and those are onions. Uh, no, sorry, that's cheese on the top. And then San Luis Potosí has like these famous um, enchiladas. And so uh, I went ahead and ate three of those. Now those are smaller. You can see the size of the fork. Those are smaller corn tortillas and they're most likely fried in seed oils. I, I didn't taste any lard. 
and they didn't taste any lard in the beans. So every once in a while, you're going to get a seed oil creep in. Um, this is rare, right? We, we normally, uh, it was vacation, so we went out. Um, and so each of those tortillas has a scant five, five carbs. So that was 15 carbs. Inside was cheese. And then uh, the next day on Thursday, I had these eggs um, with the Via Hidalgo chorizo. It's delicious. And then I made two half pound burgers with, you can see the jalapenos poking through the manchego cheese, but what was really cool is the way I seared them and salted them and then flipped them. And then as the underside is cooking, um, obviously that's the juice that came off the burger and the tallow. <clears throat> and then I throw the other half stick of butter in there, cover it and let it finish cooking and the butter will brown. It's absolutely delicious. And then uh, yesterday, uh, so it turns out, sorry guys, it turns out Thursday I didn't log down whatever meal I ate, but I would imagine it was, um, oh, you know, it was roast chicken, actually. So I think I had two chicken quarters, um, a ton of eggs with chorizo. So this was yesterday, and this is, um, they're kind of wraps. Uh, I beat egg, and I go ahead and take about a, a ladle full, put it in a pie plate, and microwave it for a minute, and I scrape them off with a scraper, and it comes out to this delicious crepe, um, pure egg wrap, very strong. I mean, you can pick these things up and eat them like they're burritos. Inside each is uh, a, a couple of slices, long ways, longitudinally, of uh, jalapenos and escabeche, some pickles, I used avocado mayonnaise, mustard, manchego cheese, two slices of head cheese, and two slices of smoked ham. Uh, I'm trying to think if that was it. Yeah, it's, and, and then um, some of the onions and a few of the, the uh, carrots that come with the uh, jalapenos and escabeche. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the seven days of what I pretty much eat and uh, pretty much fatty meat eggs, butter, water, and salt to taste. So that's about it. So you guys have a great week, and we'll chat with you again soon. Have a great one. Bye.